Okay, so in case you didn't watch the first episode or you were somehow incapacitated for five or more years and forgot what happened in the first episode, here's a quick summary of all that. We're being doxxed. I am Rage. Hi. No, this is actually blood. What? Oh, that guy. I know that guy. What do you want with the professor? You know him. Yum. Go eat, girl. <laughs> they, they heard all the YouTubers saying that this game should just be like Dash and Slash because like everyone liked the brandish weapon so much. They were like, I bet. Oh, oh, she does. No, oh, she does not like it. Gun. Is Ray just gender? Yes. Is it like Mangle from FNAF? Why? Why must I feed off others to survive? I mean, if I had to eat constantly or I would melt, I would be pissed too. Once again, yeah, just a really handy power. Um, I don't like that I have to do this with no umbrella. I don't like that at all. Hello, Pyrogen instant kill boss. Should I let him just do the hug attack once? Ray needs a hug. Just, just once. Okay, now that's just mean. That, there's just no need for that. That's just really cruel. Hello, excuse me, sir. Okay, now, now we, now we play video games. Now we play video games. Now I'm going to obliterate this boss. Glad I'll be still completely ruined this boss. I never really quite liked this guy. I still haven't even figured out how to read what attack he's going to use next. I still don't know. I still don't know what the cues on this guy are. And I never will. And I never will. D rank. Come on game, four and a half minutes. That was pretty good. I mean, it's in game time, you know, so who knows. Maybe I actually, uh, maybe it actually took a lot longer. Ignite Gear. Hitting an enemy with Ray's Claw attack will result in an explosion. Holding the attack button will cause Ray to enter a detonation standby state. I was gonna make a soul bad guy joke because it's literally called Ignite Gear. But no, it has an install. I think this might actually just be a soul bad guy reference. Not supporting the defense. Oh, it no longer absorbs, though. Or at least the explosions don't. I think the claw does. Yeah, the claw does. The explosions don't, though. I'm getting slightly better at the game. Soul bad guy. Soul bad guy. Soul bad guy. Soul bad guy. You know, despite his name being Soul Bad Guy, Gu Gu Guilty Galore would have you believe that he's the Soul Bad Guy and all that. There's actually a lot of other ones. 
I won't elaborate on that. I don't think it's good to discuss the lore of Guilty Gear in a uh, Mighty Number no. 9 video. I think it would, um... I think it would require a content warning. It hits hard, though! For all its flaws, like this weapon hits like a truck. Goodness. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. And that's all the normal weapons. Now the question is... I assume I don't have to do prison. What's a robot factory gonna be like? That is a disgustingly organic looking arm. It took sacrificing what may be my own brothers and sisters to get it. But I have it all now. The origin of their cells. Everything about their creator. Now, I will finally see who I am dealing with. Managing Director of Sonda Technologies. Doctor... White? It... It can't be! I'll take you mighty numbers and handle the security at the robot factory. You take call, and we don't have to jump to the prison. The Cherry Dynamics Factory, then. Bill. I see, so that's that makes it confusing. I, I don't think you're meant to think about it too hard. While I experiment, I will also... Uh, just to say, I'm once again being proven right on the in-between Trinity and joining Sonic Technologies thing. Because Bill cha changed his name to William and his last name from Blackwell to White. Because he wanted to break ties with his dad after his dad committed cyber terrorism. I, I think I briefly <laughs> showed that off as a joke in, the, in like the, the video for like the last campaign, but... That is an important plot point. I play it off as a joke. It is an important plot point. It's just not like, paced correctly, which is why I didn't bother, like, taking it too seriously. Well, it's got an interesting little backstory. His dad is a cool guy for bailing him out and all that, for creating a robot that could end the world, but also his dad is not a great person for committing terrorism. Something I'm really interested in. Um, the robot factory was a level very much designed specifically for Beck. As in, it works only because you have this complete kit by that point. So then that creates a very interesting question. Um, what if... You don't have Beck's moveset? It still works, from the looks of it. For example, I'm pretty sure you can only make this jump with... I knew that Tever would come in handy! <laughs> I was about to say, uh, in the base game you can only make a jump with Avi. But then I remembered, oh right, you have a Tether. There we go. Yeah, I should've just been way bolder. Oh, this is this boss. Uh, I'm going to uh, give you the the boingus those things. I'm 
not. Oh, UFO enemies mess with the controls. Figure something. What what else did they do in there? Melted. Goodness gracious. Truly the philosophical question of our time. How, how, how do we do this? Beck just has very obvious answers to everything. Okay, that might be it actually. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. I found it. It really wasn't that complicated. I feel like I should have done it, but nope, I was too sloppy, I guess. I still fully believe this is one of the worst bosses in the game. This robot factory on the whole might be the worst stage. The third attack just misses. It actually just misses. Patch, mate, patch, patch. I need, I need, yeah, I need your boost. I need that blue battery. There we go. What, what do you mean I can't use it? Oh, oh, okay. I guess I guess it was just invisible. That's a visual issue, I guess. That is the actual first time I've gotten frustrated with this DLC in any capacity. Where I'm not talking gamer rage, just me, I'd rather be doing something else. But now we're at the final level, and I'm, I assume they're not going to do much with the Battle Coliseum. Trinity is going to be a fun boss fight without any of my usual tech to beat her. Dying cells are nothing like Sanders. They fall apart so easily. I feel almost defiled. What is my consciousness fading? Bill, Bill, where are you? Bill, this emptiness inside. Make me whole again! I found it! Nothing will stand in my way! No, I was hoping she'd get her cutscene look, but no. I've actually uh, really taken a liking to this stage, just aesthetically and like thematically. You know, the, the subtle hints that you're, you're walking uh, on a, on ground made of robot corpses, because these, these are made of cells and robots are made of cells. It's cool. Um, the implication is less subtle uh, after the Vermilion Destroyer level, where there are literally like unabsorbed uh, physical robot corpses and also human blood. I'm I'm still not entirely over that. They act, they really did just put that in the the funny robot game, huh? Right, Dash has a thingy. Yeah, right. True. Secret pass. I 
I like the lore that, um... Will only made Beck out of feeling kind of bad about making Trinity. It, um, it implies that Will's not a very good person, to an extent. That he's really only doing this to prove that he's really good at making robots, guys. Just watch. I, don't know, I think Will's an interesting character. It, um, this game explores the concept of legacy, of uh, making without vision, without having an idea in mind for what you're making it for. I kind of like it. It explores the concept of an AI and how it can never really be human, no matter how human it may seem. How you can't attribute human traits to it, because at the end of the day it's artificial. It lacks the traits of anything biological, but it, because it inherently isn't biological. Trinity kind of explores this concept with the whole, um... Assimilates, but doesn't understand what not to assimilate thing. Trinity can't realize that she's hurting anyone because she's a robot and robots can't empathize, which leads Will to make the artificial heart, a pattern that somehow allows robots to make decisions that benefit other robots. It's neat, it's a neat concept. I like how they play with this uh, idea that robots aren't human but they still make these robot characters kind of human in a sense. Right, it's kind of human. She very clearly doesn't want to hurt anybody, but also she wants to live. The girl's gotta live, you know? I like this little, this scrunkly little goober. Let's get it. I don't have any proof for this, but it really does feel like Ray's uh, sword has less range. Wait. Oh! They patched that. That complicates this boss fight a lot. Whatever will I do now? <laughs> My one cheese technique for that whole phase. Interesting. Actually, almost out of lives for once. I don't think I'm gonna do it on this run. This is why I don't like the live system very much, because... With more tries, I'm going to be able to beat this boss, but now I just have to awkwardly retry this whole level in a moment. That is not gonna do with Patch Buddy, you've let me down. No extra life. None of that. No healing, yikes. Patch. Cringe patch. I was really expecting more from you. Very promising young lad. Had a big career ahead of him. Game over. That is the first game over I've had in a while. Restart. That is not gonna help at all. I appreciate the sentiment, Patch, but you really should have come up with this a little sooner. Hey, would you look at that? I made it back without losing a single life. That's crazy. That's way harder. You can you can you can tear through half her health bar as back when when she does that. Harsh, harsh. Although on one hand, I, I actually do kind of like it that they force you to actually do the final boss for real these this time. Like this boss is not cheesable in the same good old ways anymore. Right. 
times of great difficulty I fall back on my greatest friend, the, the sword that reflects the projectile. Alas, he's not here. Very, very considerate of you. I would love that about nine lives earlier, but um, you know, we don't get to choose that we're done in life, you know? We don't get to choose that. Some of us are born with the terrible rot consuming us every waking second. That's how it is. I, I, I kind of don't want to do this. No, I'm, I'm not going to do this. No, I will not. It would be really funny. It would be really funny, but we'll just say I could have done it and that's good enough for me. Optimal deck of uh, your losing lol power-ups. Thank you, thank you. I'm seeing this pattern pop up. Did, did they intentionally make a harder version of that attack specifically for the Ray version of, or version of this boss fight? Because in my time speedrunning this game, I've never seen that. I should uh, I should clarify that. I, I do I do this thing for that uh, for the rain attack, where um, I stand on the like the, in between the second and the third um, pillar from any corner. And that always gets you the second or third highest. Except sometimes in Ray's version of this boss. Which is very cruel and I like it. I'm starting to mind having to go back every single time way less as time goes on. Maybe it's because I've played Rain World and Hollow Knight since the first time I played this game. Both games where you do um, a lot more backtracking than you might want to do. Those games have way more, nah, I gotta do that again, than this game does. This game has very little of that. So, uh, clearly this is a... <laughs> clearly this is a superior game to both, am I right, gamers? Mighty number 9 fans, Hollow Knight fans, their sequel not coming out! <laughs> Back again. Dormo, I've come to bargain. I need to, I need, I need to consume my, my... Power giving non beverage. This water is actually not a beverage, did you know? A beverage is actually any drink that isn't water. There's a difference between drink and beverage, they're not synonyms, because drink can be water, whereas a beverage is specifically something that isn't water. Speaking of, I'm gonna get water. <laughs> I'm genuinely so excited about this DLC. Well, I'm, I'm very low energy because I've played this game a bit, but I, I'm genuinely having a lot of fun. This was such a good purchase. This was such a well spent five bucks. I'm serious, this is not even like... Obviously me already liking Mighty Number no. 9 doesn't affect me liking the DLC. Because a lot of this is uh, stuff from the base game. Like, I genuinely think this is a way well, like, like better put together product. This is like, significantly more competent. And I'm having a lot of fun. Ray is just such a fun character to control, seriously. Her entire gimmick is that, is that she could die any second. And this does not make her frustrating to play, because everything else is so good. Ow. That was a major miscalculation that cost me 70% plus of my health. Like, this game mode is so much more punishing, it is so funny. You make one slip up, there goes like 70 to 80% of your whole health bar. I was about to go into phase 2 at full. Not anymore, not anymore. Can I do the aviator thing? 
where you uh, respawn the projectiles and then shoot more. I think I can. That's cool. Like, come on, like, you, you need to talk about this. Like, once is, is, is like, uh, too many times already. Like, come on, girl, like, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. Oh, hey, I fixed her. I fixed her. Don't worry, chat. We can, in fact, fix her. What are names? you here? Why are you letting this filthy cell destroy me? Why is it so warm? Huh? Who? Can we save her, Beck? I'll try. You. What? What are you doing? My body... It's been purified. The deterioration... Has stopped. I feel so warm. It's like... It's like I'm almost human. Bill... Myself to the p p p p prison, like actually f f physically uh, go there. Doctor, a question: Why was I equipped with an energy shield? Uh, well, <laughs> great Caesar's ghost, they found us. If she's been activated, it's already too late. Trinity cannot be stopped. 
Whoa, whoa, peas and carrots. <laughs>